What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about ceilings in Revit. So I want to show you how to create all of the different types of ceilings that we might have inside of Revit. So we're going to be talking about recessed ceilings, ceilings that are in line or part of the upper floor construction, uh, ceilings that are sloped, ceilings that are arced, and all of the modifications that you can do to your ceilings inside of Revit. Uh, now before we actually jump into Revit, I would just like to take a moment to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. On my website is where I have all of my Revit courses. I've got over 130 hours of content and I'm adding more each month. Uh, that's where I can kind of have the extra time to go slowly, step by step and explain all of the various different topics inside of Revit. I cover topics that are for beginners, intermediate level users all the way to advanced level users so there is something there for everybody uh, also there you can find some of my customized Revit templates so ready to go Revit templates you can find some really high quality Revit families actually recently we have added some new families there as well and you can find a very useful plugin so make sure to check that out okay now without any further ado let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit and as you can see I'm using this model of a single family uh, house, single family home. Uh, this is actually one of my courses where I show you how to design this house and produce all of the documentation for it and I'm just going to be using this uh, for uh, creating some ceilings. So let's get started. So first to create the ceilings we have to go to the project browser and we have to open up a ceiling plan but in this case we don't have a ceiling plan. So what do we do? Well when you don't have a ceiling plan you can actually create a ceiling plan for any level simply by going here to the view menu and then you want to go to plan views open that up and here you have your reflected ceiling plans so you open that up and it's going to give you this dialog so new RCP which is reflected ceiling plan and you just set the type to ceiling plan you can even edit the type if you want so you can uh, add the callout tag and even set up a view template I don't want that at the moment so I'm just going to going to be leaving that as empty uh, but then you can just pick out the floor that you want to use for your ceiling plan so I want this for my first level floor plan so it's just going to be cutting through the first level floor plan and then looking up so that's what we want. So I'm just going to click on that, click OK, and what you'll see is here, now we have the ceiling plans uh, node here, and if I expand that, I have my 00, zero floor plan, or which is our ceiling plan. Okay, now if I come here to this ceiling plan, I can change the detail level to fine, for example, that's perfectly fine. And then let's go to architecture and let's go to ceilings. So when it comes to ceilings, you have a couple of options here. You have your automatic ceilings and then you have your sketch ceilings. So let's take a look at automatic ceilings first. So automatic ceilings, what you wanna do first is just set up the height offset from level. I like to set it to 280 for this particular project. And then you just kind of hover, come, come here in the model and then you just hover over one of the rooms and it's going to recognize the walls there and as you can see it's going to highlight things with this red boundary line and once you're kind of happy with the position of your ceiling you just click and it's going to place a ceiling there which is really cool if you want one here you can place another ceiling there okay now let's hit the escape key a couple of times and now let's take a look at these ceilings so by default your first ceiling here that we have is going to be the compound ceiling 600 by 600 millimeter grid if you open that up as you can see we have a couple of options the 600 by 600 the 600 by 1200 and this is uh, GWB on metal stud so this is another option and then also you have generic generic is well just generic so it's just going to be like a well plain which I don't like so let's stick with our 600 by 600 millimeter grid now if you go here into edit type uh, what you can do here is go into structure and then here you have those ceilings so the, the ceiling tile and if you click on this little builder button it's going to open up your 
uh, material browser and then here you can see this is the surface pattern that's used so this is actually a model surface pattern if you don't like the lines being so dark you can change them from black to gray if you want I actually like doing this just because I think it looks just a little bit more elegant I prefer the lines to be this but of course make sure to kind of follow your rules and regulations but there we go here we have our ceiling grid now when it comes to the ceiling grid you can actually move it see so I'm just not, I'm not moving the single grid line I'm just moving the whole grid see how it moves the whole thing and uh, it's just kind of stretching it out so for example if you want your ceiling grid to start at a certain corner you can just come in here you can select this move I can move it up to here like that I can move this one up to here and it's basically going to start that grid from that corner obviously these panels here have to be cut but these first ones don't have to be cut so that's one of the options that you have and then of course you can align these as well now apart from aligning them you can actually rotate them too so you can select one of these lines you can go to rotate and then you can rotate it by for example 45 degrees and now we have a ceiling grid that's rotated so if this is what you're looking for this is how you do that and then of course if you want to select a difference so for example you want this one you can do that and then this one will just not uh, let's see okay it gives us the same grid that's odd okay so anyways let's just go back to 600 by 600 millimeter uh, ceiling okay let's come here and let's create another ceiling so I'm just going to go here to ceilings uh, and now instead of automatic ceiling I'm going to go to sketch ceiling uh, because here let's let's actually go back so if I were to go to automatic ceiling it's going to grab kind of the entire uh, uh, living room uh, and, and the dining room and the kitchen area and I don't want that I just want the living room so then I can go to sketch ceiling and then I can just use a simple rectangle and sketch out out a ceiling there okay everything seems to be in order and then I can just hit finish and now I have a sketched ceiling there uh, now if I open up my uh, section here what you'll see is that ceiling is here and there's actually a gap here which I don't like and then also I don't like the fact that they have this uh, sloped roof above and I have all of this area and my ceiling is blocking that in so I would like let's say I would like my ceiling to follow that same slope of the roof above can we do that well of course we can do that <laughs> that's actually really simple so your ceilings are kind of like your roofs so let me show you if I go back to our ceiling plan go to edit boundary I can actually select these boundary lines and I can check the fine slope so just like we would have for roofs now here it's currently at 4.76 degrees actually I wanted to follow the same sl slope as the roof now I already know that my roof is at 15 degrees so if you know that then you can just come in here and type in 15 hit enter perfect hit finish and now if I were to go to my section now as you can see I have a ceiling that's actually following that uh, that's actually following uh, uh, the slope of our roof okay so this is looking nice right now and then of course we can change the height offset so set it to 290 for example if you want hit apply so it goes a little bit up and so on okay now let's talk about lights for a moment so if I go back to floor plan view here okay or our reflected ceiling plan view uh, let's now add some lights so I'm just going to go here to component oops not component or yeah component what's going on here so let's go place a component okay it's asking me for a uh, uh, for a plane okay let's just load in a family first and then we'll place it so let's go here to load family okay so let me just go back to show you how I got here so when you're at your kind of family library I'm using metric you can use Imperial if you want or whatever else you're using uh, I'm just going to scroll down to lighting uh, here we go uh, then go to architecture let's go to internal internal and then here we have the some lights so let's use this linear box hit open and now I should be able to place that family okay here we go uh, now what you'll see here uh, is that you can only place it here on the ceiling it's not going to be want to be placed here on the 
uh, where you don't have a ceiling. So I can place it here, for example, I can place it here. Now here it's a little bit odd because we have a sloped ceiling, uh, but here it is going to want to work. So I can just come in here and place that light wherever I want on my ceiling. Uh, now here on this ceiling, it is going to want to place it, but if I click here, it's not going to be visible. If I click here, it is going to be visible. So what's going on? If I open up my uh, section, so let's open up that section. What you'll see, I have both of these here, uh, but I don't see this one, so why don't I see it? Well, I don't see it because of the view settings for this uh, reflected ceiling plan. So what you wanna do is just come here to the view range, and then here, uh, just make it unlimited, hit apply, and now you're going to see that. Because previously, if I just show you here the section, see, this is the uh, roof level. So uh, by default, it's only going to see up to that roof level. It's not going to see past that. And see, this light is below it, and then this light is above it. So that's why we could only see this one this one here, this light fixture, but not this one. So that was the that was the problem. Okay, so we have kind of figured this out, but now let's figure out a different problem. And that's the fact that I can only place uh, lighting fixtures here where I have a ceiling. Where I don't have a ceiling, I cannot place my lighting fixtures, which is annoying. So what do you do in that situation? Well, uh, you have a couple of options. You can create a family. So what you can do here, oops, go to file, new, family, and then you would find a metric, let's see, uh, lighting family, but instead of instead of uh, having it ceiling based, uh, you should have it. Uh, let's see here. Do we have it? Wall based, ceiling based, lighting fixture. So unfortunately, we don't have it phase based. So you, you probably have to go with a phase based component and then load in a light fixture there. So it's annoying. It's an annoying process where your uh, basically your light will be able to be placed on any surface, including the bottom of the floor here, which we're using as a kind of a ceiling. Now, if you don't want that headache, what you can do uh, kind of as a as a different solution and what I like to use, and that is to combine our ceiling with the floor above. So in this case, we have a ceiling here and then we have the floor above. So what I can do is just take the ceiling and then let's turn on the thin lines for a moment. Okay, and then I would move the ceiling. So just go to the move tool and move it all the way up until it intersects with that uh, with that roof above or the floor above. Now uh, you can go up to this layer here or if you kind of want to go through that layer you can go even kind of up uh, uh, up to the kind of the construction of the roof. So once you're there and let's now turn off the thin lines you can go to modify join so join geometry and you can join this to your roof. And now as you can see these two are joined. Here we still have this thick line because we want to join it with the wall as well and when with this wall here too. And now these are basically part of the same construction. So we have joined them together and now let's turn on the thin lines. As you can see the ceiling is basically cutting into the floor and the ceiling is acting in uh, acting as kind of the the bottom layer of that roof. So that's just one of the options uh, that you have here. So that's just something that uh, you, you want to keep in mind that you have as a possibility uh, for uh, for your ceilings. So the ceiling doesn't have to be recessed. It can actually be in line with the upper floor acting in as the layer. Uh, just keep in mind that for your floor or in this case roof in the layers you're not going to have that ceiling. Uh, it's still going to be a separate element, but it's just going to be joined together. So that's just another option that you have. And then finally, let's say you want to be crazy about it and you want to create some crazy ceiling. So let's delete this one and let's now design a crazy ceiling. So what you can do is go here to architecture, go to component, model in place, and then just make sure that here you categorize it as a ceiling and then click OK ceilings one, that's perfectly fine. And then I'm just going to use an extrusion and pick a plane and I'm just going to pick this plane here. So make sure to click the tab key until the wall highlights. See how now the entire wall highlighted. And now when I click, I can just create, let's, let's create an arc here. So let's go like this. So this can, this can be an, an interesting ceiling. 
Uh, then let's give it an offset, let's say four centimeters. Okay, and then let's cap it at both ends. Something like that, same thing here as well. And then we can use just trim and extend to corner to fix it up. There we go. Now, if I hit finish, now we have that ceiling. Make sure to go to your reflected ceiling plan and extend it all the way to the other side. And there we go. Now we have our ceiling and we can actually place lights on this thing. So if I, because it's categorized as a ceiling, I can just come in here and place these lights on that ceiling. Let's actually place them here in the, ca uh, in the section. Okay. And I can actually delete these for now. Okay, and if I open up the section view, as you can see here, we have that kind of arc ceiling uh, with the lights there as well. So that's a, a cool way to create a ceiling. And then, of course, if you want to, let's actually go to the floor plan and create a 3D view or a camera perspective view just to see what we have there. See how now we have this kind of odd ceiling. If I orbit around. Let's see, can I look up? There we go. So we have those lights kind of uh, following that arced ceiling. And there we go. That's how you can make interesting ceilings uh, like this inside of Revit. So I hope you understand kind of the ceiling category and the ceiling tool a little bit better. And I hope that now you have the power to create all sorts of interesting ceilings inside of Revit. Uh, now, if you want to get this project file, so this whole entire house, you can find it on my Patreon page, which I'm going to include uh, just below this video in the description. So the link to my Patreon page, as well as in the cards above. There you can find all of my Revit project files. I've got over 400 files so far and I'm adding more each month. Thank you for watching guys. Make sure to check out my website balkanarctic.com for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.